everyone, um, my name is Linda or Days Crafter and this is my first YouTube video. Um, first time using this camera that I just bought and it came in the mail yesterday so I'm still um, learning how to use it and maneuver it and I've actually never um, dealt with much video editing and things like that in my life so it's going to be a relatively simple video. Um, I just wanted to show you some things that I bought the past week and they all came in the mail yesterday and I'm super excited. So let me go ahead and show you what I bought. So on my Instagram, I have purchased uh, from Pumpkin Toys these two resin pieces um, that she had done a flash sale on the past week. And she also has an Etsy shop, pumpkintoys.etsy.com. So go ahead, check her out, follow her her Etsy and her um, Instagram if you want to see some of her stuff that she's already made it. Oh, uh, the stuff that she's already made it. The stuff that she's already made. And the two things that I bought, and it came in this really nice um, uh, cardboard jewelry box, um, are these two right here. And they're a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be, but they're still really, really cute and really pretty. Um, I think out of the two, my favorite is the uh, crescent moon with the flowers. I don't know what she used for the flowers, but they're so pretty and sparkly. And I really like holding it. It's nice and smooth and really well domed in the back. And also you can see right here, she wrote down PT for pumpkin toys, the initials. Um, and yeah, they're really pretty. They're on large um, keychain necklaces. Uh, I don't think I would wear them as a necklace because they're really... Actually, like, if you were to wear this as a necklace, it would probably fall right where your um, below your collarbones. So I think for something this large, I would probably prefer it to be um, a longer on a longer chain. But I don't think I would be wearing them. I'll probably repurpose these uh, to be um, keychain uh, keychains. Or, or zipper pulls on my bag, my purse. So, yeah, so this one is heart shaped and they are pushing the cat to um, stickers on them. And so cute. Really like the glitter. And again, super smooth in the back. I really like that. So, yeah, so I'll uh, include uh, Pumpkin Toys' information in the description box below. Now let me move on to the second thing that I bought that came in the mail. I bought some sculpting tools um, and they came in a set of five. I already took one out. Also came with uh, this extra little mini brush that I'll probably be using. I don't know what I'll be using it for but super soft. I'll, I'll be finding something to use, use it for for my crafts. But these sculpting tools are, um, I, came, I bought them off of eBay from uh, More's More. And it came in really quick. It was a domestic shipping, so um, yeah, I got this within the week. And they are really soft. Uh, they come in different in consistencies of how uh, how much give you want in terms of these sculpting tools. So I bought the gray ones, um, which is a medium um, consistency. There's one that's super soft, um, and they have white, they're white tip uh, sculpting tools. And those are more appropriate for what I'm told, um, or what I read on eBay. Um, they were more appropriate for painting, because they were so soft. And then the uh, hardest consistency uh, would be the black tip ones. And I wanted something that was somewhere in between, because I didn't really know um, what I, how soft the white ones were. But this seems to be a really good consistency. I got these. Um, off of seeing uh, Polly Momo T or Alex's YouTube video regarding the tools that he uses for his sculpting, um, his polymer cl clay crafts, and I thought I was thinking, I was thinking of going back into um, clay making or clay uh, polymer clay again. Um, I, if uh, you guys want to see, uh, I have an old Deviant Art account that I'll include in the description box below. Um, that was how I came about uh, in the crafting world about eight or nine years ago. Um, I started with pol uh, polymer clay and clay charm making, and uh, I haven't touched clay or done any clay projects for about three or four years now. Um, and there's a reason for that, but I won't get into any details about that. Um, 
So yeah, um, lately I've been doing a lot of needle felting work and some sewing. So that's what I've been doing for um, the past year, year and a half or so. So I was thinking, well, let's uh, maybe getting back into doing some clay projects again. And I saw, I've, I've seen a ton of videos on some different techniques. So I'll probably be starting again in a few more weeks um, on some projects that I, uh, I've been brainstorming. And the other things um, that came in the mail yesterday was some needle felting wool. Um, I got this, I got how many packets here? How many packets are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I bought about twelve. Twelve packets of uh, different colored felting wool. And this right here, I bought it from, um, you probably heard of their store already from other uh, felting, needle felting crafters. Um, I bought this wool from Hand Crafters Etsy shop and I bought some in uh, various colors. Um, I have bought from them before and the thing I like about their wool is it's super soft and when you um, needle felt it, it has a very nice smooth consistency. Um, the old, granted the only other felting wool that I've ever used before was uh, Daiso, Daiso needle felting wool and um, I, I'm able to use it just fine but it's not as soft and it takes a longer time to, to needle felt Daiso wool. Um, yeah, it, it, just, it takes a little bit longer and also it has a lot of stray strands as well after you're done with your project. This, however, um, Handcrafters wool uh, is super fine. It's very soft and it needle felts very fast. Um, you know, a few pokes and already it's forming um, the shape that you're trying to make, and in a relatively short time, comparatively to other wools. And also, there's less fibers that uh, poke out after you're done needle felting it. So that's what I liked, um, based off of experiences having bought their wool before and about a bunch of colors and I'm not going to be able to fit them all into this, the camera panel but I bought some grays, yellows, um, some peachy tones and pinks so yeah that's that's going to be that for this video um, I hope you like it it's my first one I know it's not that great but um, yeah so if you are interested in seeing some of my uh, some future videos on my channel please subscribe like this video um, also you can follow me on Instagram at dazed crafter um, I'll link the description uh, I'll link the website down below and also uh, yeah leave some comments um, this is my first video I'm still kind of new to YouTube granted I've seen a lot of YouTube videos um, for the past year and a half so I uh, already have some ideas of what I will probably be posting on my channel, but um, yeah, leave me a comment, say hi, and um, please like. Uh, so this concludes this video. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!